solving quadratic equation quadratic equations can be solved by using three methods they are factorization method completing the square method and by using quadratic formula solving quadratic equation click each tab to learn more in the previous examples we already learned to write the situations mathematically in the form of quadratic equation with an unknown variable x so now let us learn to find the value of the variable x in the quadratic equation consider a quadratic equation as shown on screen let x is equal to 1 then we get the value of LHS of the given quadratic equation is 0 as shown on the screen since LHS is equal to RHS we say that 1 is the root of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 is the solution of the quadratic equation also x is equal to 1 is 0 of the quadratic polynomial 2x square minus 3x plus 1 in a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if x is equal to alpha satisfies the quadratic equation then alpha is the solution of the quadratic equation already we learned that any quadratic polynomial can have at most two zeros similarly in any quadratic equation it can have at most two roots since zeros in the quadratic polynomials are equal to roots in quadratic equations now let us learn how to factorize the given quadratic equation with the help of an example the procedure to solve a quadratic equation by using factorization is as follows clear all fractions and square roots on variable if any write the equation in the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero where a not equal to zero factorize the left side into a product of two factors use the zero product rule to solve the resulting equation find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by factorization solution we observe that the given equation is in standard form here for factorizing we have to split the middle term for this we need to multiply a x square term and constant term that is 2x square and 3 of the given quadratic equation now split the middle term minus 5x into two terms such that either the sum or difference of these terms should be against the middle minus 5x and the product of these terms must be equal to the product of first and last terms which is 6x square for this list out all possible pairs of multiples of 6 the multiples of 6 are 1 6 2 3 minus 1 minus 6 minus 2 minus 3 from the above pairs except minus 2 minus 3 none of the pairs doesn't satisfy the condition for factorization hence the middle term minus 5x can be split into minus 2x and minus 3x now apply the zero product rule obtain the values of x we obtain x is equal to 1 x equal to 3 by 2 for verification put x is equal to 1 in the given equation thus by further solving we get both LHS and RHS equal similarly put x equal to 3 by 2 we again get both LHS 
and all hs equal